my first video, 1-6 scale. Um, Batman from the Dark Knight. Now, this is going to be a work in progress, i.e. due to using the camera phone as a recording device. Uh, the setup and me just talking nonsense about the figure and other figures. So this is my first introduction into 1-6 scale figures and I realised how expensive this is going to be. Um, and it's uh, it's definitely not the cheapest hobby that you could get into. And with that, I immediately went on to eBay, uh, which a lot of YouTubers advise not to do. And I just wanted to see what was sort of available on the pre-owned market before I start splashing out loads of money on brand new figures. And Batman's one of my favorite characters. Let's just tilt his head down. Because he looks ridiculous. Um, and yeah, so I looked into it. I found this and the Dark Knight Joker. And these are from DC Direct. So it wasn't a company I'd heard of. But because it had DC in the title. And they looked like they were actually branded figures by DC. I decided that that would be a good place to start. Because I thought you can't go wrong with the actual comic itself. And I thought they're going to do a decent figure. And I thought this would probably be a good place to start. So there is no unboxing um, because the figure, as you can see, is already unboxed. Um, so that, <laughs> that's already been done. Um, I'll probably pull up some pictures of the box so you can see you can see the box itself. But this is the figure as he stands. Uh, he comes with two hands, two extra hands, I should say. So one of them is fully posable which I've seen reviews that these aren't great just due to the fact that the wear and tear and the rubber tends to break. So yeah, you could do different hand poses like so. And he comes with two closed fists, which as you can see are if the camera focuses, just generic Batman fists. So it comes with those. Um, as you'll see, I've got him posed currently with the grappling gun. And that was with the posable hand. It was a little bit fiddly. Um, but I'm probably going to have him displayed like this until I potentially get another another Batman at some point. But there you go. The sort of poses you can do with the fingers, whatever you want. So have a bit of that. Um, yeah, so it comes with the hands. Then you've got these really cool batarangs which are, I believe, movie actor. They're hard to pick up with the gloves on. So you've got these Banarangs. They are sharp, um, but I think they're plastic. I'm pretty sure they're plastic. There you go. You've got the sort of embossed level there on that side. And yeah, so you've got one that's a little bit bigger, which is almost the same size as his chest plate there. And you've got some smaller ones that he comes with for posing and throwing. Um, yeah, it, he finds it hard to hold on to these, so it's a little bit tricky to pose him. I, I did originally have him in that pose, and you sort of got to stab it <laughs> so it holds. That's, yeah, so you, you, you can fiddle about with it and get him where you want him to be. Um, but yeah, there the, that's the sort of detail that you're dealing with, so you get three small ones and one large one he comes with i believe this is just the sonar remote from the dark knight which i believe he uses to track the joker um, which is is just a little square with a couple of stickers on it really so not really much to say about that i won't have him pose with that ever and then he's got this grappling hook um, which is meant to go on his arm. So say this is his arm. I won't do it because it's too, it's really too fiddly. And my fingers are too big apparently. And then his hand folds around there for grappling. I don't remember him using this in the film. Um, I would have preferred the sticky gun with the bombs where he goes to follow Lau. And he goes after Lau and he, he shoots them sticky bombs at the building to blow up the glass so he can swoop in. Um, that would have been a lot better accessory. I don't remember him using this. 
I'll probably have to review the film again, uh, which I might do for the channel anyway. I know thousands of people have done it, but it's my channel, I'll do what I want. Uh, but yeah, this is the weird grappling hook. He will never be posed with this, so I don't even think I can resell these items. I don't think anyone's going to want that. I did, probably won't even believe it came with the figure. Um, so there, there, that's what he comes with. Um, if we move on to the figure himself, so he's your normal sort of 1-6 scale figure in terms of articulation and movement but there is a slight hitch with this one and i believe hot toys and some of the other bigger brands have improved massively on this the issue comes with his actual movability he is unbelievably stiff and the reasons why he's unbelievably stiff is because of this outfit so they've tried to make the armor as realistic as possible but as you can see it's is 3D um, to get that 3D looking armor effect, which is great. He looks good, but in terms of movement, he's stuck. <laughs> he's really stuck. He can go karate kick style. So if you wanted to have him kick the Joker in the head, full roundhouse sort of pose, which he never does, um, he can do that. But I mean that oh, that's so stiff, like so. It's hard to know how good the articulation would have been and the fact that the suit comes up here is a bit of a pain i'm never going to have him posed in an action pose so for me it's fine and i did watch a review before i bought the figure actually um so you could probably find that on here as well but i already knew about this so i bought him more due to cost as i'm starting my collection um he's the first figure i owned and i wanted it to be a batman figure and yeah i mean his his belt moves um, I have imposed currently sort of something along the lines of this with the grappling gun. That's another accessory that he comes with. Um, and that's quite a cool pose. But his articulation really limit. I mean, look, that's as much as his arm goes up. That's it. That is as much <laughs> as the shoulder rotates. Uh, you can get it out a little bit so he can kind of gangster shoot <laughs> the grappling gun. I don't know why he would do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, posability. Oh, that's as far up as his arm goes. I mean, I'm forcing that. I could, I could probably break the doll, um, or action figure, or you know, statue, or whatever. however you want to call it. Don't get angry at me for calling it a doll. It's a poseable doll. Um, but yeah, so you can move his head. His head's got great articulation, actually. Um, I haven't pulled it off yet. What I am going to do is, I found a sculpt of an animated Batman head. I'm not sure which animated version it is now. I'm going to play around with ordering that. I think I've got it already. I'm going to paint it black and do the skin color the same as his face. And I'm going to see what that looks like uh, on his head as well. So I will upload a video once I've done that. But yeah, I mean, his posability limits him a lot. His shoulders can't really go up any higher than that. So he can't do the YMCA. Um, his legs are, are not great either in terms of that. I mean, he will stand on his own. He'll stand on his own um, quite well. And yeah, he looks good from a distance, which is kind of what I wanted because it's the start of my collection and I haven't really got anything else to pad it out with. Uh, but that's currently what I'm working with. His cape is this kind of weird velvety sort of... It, it sounds papery as well. I don't know if you can hear that. It's, it's a horrible sound, um, but it, it, it does the job. I mean, you've got the wire in there. So you can sort of pose him a little bit better. I mean, if you wanted the cape up, I guess you could probably manage that or something similar. So it looks a bit more intimidating. I mean, it doesn't look great on camera. Uh, but, you know, you, you've got different looks. I find even trying to put his arms down at the sides are quite difficult. I guess you could wrap him half in the cloak, maybe. That might be quite a good look if I pried about with that for a little bit, but that's currently how he looks. Um, the face is... Uh, it's movie accurate, but it's not the best quality. I don't know if the camera's picking that up in the best possible light. But it's, it's Christian Bale, I mean, 100%. It's undeniable, really. And the... the suit itself is accurate it's very accurate the, the cape's a bit of a pain I, I don't know if i'm going to customize this apart from trying the different head sculpt 
um, that I'm trying to mix animated with the film version, which I think might be quite a cool take on it. But realistically, I don't think I'm going to do much customization uh, in terms of the actual the actual outfit. Let me try and move the camera into a better angle. So yeah, so he's got that he's got that look. You know, the Christian belt look. The armor is good. He's solid from a distance. Yeah, he he looks good, and you, you don't seem to see any faults. Which the main faults for me are the his movability. Um, as you can see, he dropped the grappling gun, uh, which is great. That's why I had him pose with. This is actually quite good. Uh, it's not die cast. It is plastic. It might have a part die cast in it. That's part of that that feels rather. Rather sturdy. That's not breaking anytime soon, um, and and that that's quite nice. It's done to a nice degree. Again, from a distance, it, it looks real. His hands fall out um, quite easily. Boom. See, there you go. Hand fell out there, and that's mainly due to he's got these back cuff length sort of gauntlets. Gauntlets probably the best word. And yeah, they sort of hold the hand in place a little bit better. I tried actually swapping out his hands with the Joker that I've got from the same DC direct line. And yeah, it didn't work. It was an epic fail. Uh, the hands just don't fit. The pegs are, seem to be a completely different size, which is very strange uh, for a one six scale. So I, I don't know why that is. But as I say, I'm gonna mess about with taking his head off at some point and replacing it with an animated head. Um, I can't remember which animated head I went for in the end, but I'll do that in another video. Uh, the stand itself is the Dark Knight, so you've got that, got that nice symbol there, and it's adjustable. It's fairly basic, but sometimes less is more. I always seem to say that. Uh, the Joker one comes with exactly the same base, um, which I would have preferred something else, but for the price I was paying and it's pre-owned, uh, there wasn't really much room for me to gripe with it, and so therefore. You know, that was part of the reason for the purchase. It was to get my collection started. I mean, I only bought this about a month ago. And, you know, that's that's an issue. The base actually just broke in my hand. So, that's cheap plastic for you. <laughs> Luckily, he stands up quite well on his own. Um, but, yeah, that's interesting. That just broke off from the base without me even trying. So... <laughs> <laughs> so this is going great um, but yeah so as you can see he stands he's poseable in a very limited way the arm is good but you have to sort of move it where you want it as you can see there, there's a bit of a gap between his leg and the armor so it could be better and it is better there are better ones out there especially with hot toys um, and some of the other bigger named guys they they, they've already advanced something. This is an old figure. This isn't new by any stretch of the imaginations. Um, but I picked it up cheap. It was to start my collection off. I needed a Batman. And for the price they were going, I, I got this at a steal. Because um, I, I know they can go from upwards of, you know, £150 upwards. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted a Christian Bale Batman in my collection just to start it off. I might replace him down the line or I might keep him for some customization kit bashing. Um, it's something I'm going to look into, but yeah, that's the Batman. So there he is in all his glory. Uh, I'm not sure how this video is going to come out. Just due to the fact that I'm doing it all on my phone. Probably going to need better equipment, but it's enough for you to get an overview and for me to do the review. So there you go. Um, so if yeah, like, subscribe. There will be more stuff coming. Uh, I've only just started, so this will be my only video to start with. Uh, but yeah, there'll be other figures other statues. I'm going to do some film reviews as well. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see where it takes us. Peace.